there has been a personnel shuffle within the Bureau in the past 24 hours. According to police sources, Sergeant T.A. Sturgis of missing persons will be transferred out of that unit. While she won't lose rank, she will be back in uniform. Detective Carol O'Neill, also of missing persons, has been transferred from that unit and has been busted to officer. And Captain Johnny Sparks, formerly with responsibility over robbery, homicide, and missing persons, has been shifted exclusively to missing persons. Public Safety Commissioner Lee Brown said he didn't want to comment. He didn't want to talk about police personnel matters. Brown, however, has talked about police personnel matters in the past. According to officers who wish to remain unidentified, the switches were linked to the Luby Jeter case. I was told that Sergeant Sturgis had delayed informing the proper officials of Jeter's disappearance. One officer close to these moves told me that the whole thing was being blown out of proportion, that while the Luby Jeter case might have spurred the demotions and transfers, everything really should be seen as a personnel reevaluation, a move to make the missing persons section operate more efficiently. Transfers like these have happened in the past, and they will happen in the future, I was told. Well, that is no doubt true, but with tensions growing over the missing and murdered children and over the Luby Jeter investigation in particular, the shifting and missing persons has to be seen as more than just routine. From the Atlanta Police Headquarters, Mark Picard, Action News.